Is any kayak worth $11,000? Well, not on paper, but maybe it is for you. Guys, with $11,000, you could get this PDL kayak, $1,900. You could get this Angler Jet kayak. Which I kit, did not open. Kit not included, for $8,000. But wait, there's more. You could get a Cash Power 100 and put up whatever you want in there. A Bisbee, mm -hmm. Taquito, Outboard, whatever. You could put it in there. $11,000 gets you all this. Now, is this kayak that you're about to see right here, this plate right here, worth all this? Well, I mean, that's a hard thing to answer. For me, probably not, but I'll be happy to review one of them if they send one over. You're distracting me. I know that. That's his it's job. It's my job. Okay, anyways, wait, wait. Okay, no, 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 but seriously, we gotta talk about the plus this kayak, the, the reason why it costs so much money, other than they have to make their money back for R&D and all this stuff, is that it offers things that other kayaks simply can't offer. This is 300 pounds, 350 pounds. This setup right here is over 100 pounds. This one, this one right here, which is just the kayak itself, still probably close to 100 pounds. If you are 65, 55, whatever it is, you, I don't know, maybe you can't lift weight because you have a bad back. Probably you won't be able to use any of these boats. This one with the trailer, you probably will. Because it's easy to use with a trailer, but it's still, if you want to do a, a normal kayaking trip, not a boat trip, you know, 100 pounds, maybe getting this boat, which weighs, by the way, 40 pounds, will be worth it for you. So the Apis TYR fishing kayak weighs 40 pounds. You could probably lift it with a finger. Can you imagine a full size kayak that you could go super fast on paddling, weighing 40 pounds? Even Sophie could carry. Hey, Andres, you could probably lift that 40 pound kayak, can you? Yeah, sort of. Maybe. I can lift it. Well, you moved that one. That one's over 100 pounds, so yeah. Now, it also offers other things like no scoper holes. That is huge. Why? Dude, how many things have you lost through your scoper holes? I lost a lot of stuff. So if you don't have scoper holes, you lose less things, but also you go faster. Yes. And you don't have to worry about water coming through the hole. Now, every, every time I laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My tummy is holding the camera and it's shaking. <laughs> Are you gonna notice? Blooper time. <laughs> okay. So one of the things that you get with a boat with no scoper hole is that you're gonna go faster. Your powder stroke is gonna be more efficient. Maybe you don't even need a motor. You could also get crazy shallow, super shallow, because that boat weighs 40 pounds only, and no scoper hole, that means you could get really close to land. You could go over glass, glass. You could go over grass. You could go over vegetation. A lot of, a lot of times you fish in waters where there's broken trees and things like that, and those things get stuck in your scoper holes and then you can't go fast enough. With this thing, you could go fast. So that's a, that's a huge. Is it worth $11,000? So another thing that this Apis watercraft kayak has is that it has magnets all over the place. So if you, you're using a pair of pliers and you need to put it away, you could just put it on the side of the boat. It's not gonna fall off, that is huge. You don't have to be tethering things. You don't have to have like pliers all over the place. You could just put it on the side. Fish finder installation, they got that down too. It's easy to put a fish finder in the front, it's magnetic, it's huge. It has magnets all over the place, and that's pretty good. Like, like seriously, this is like a high-end boat. It's wide enough, it gives you a lot of stability. You could stand up on this boat, you could fish easily. They claim that you could even turn the boat with a rod tip. Now, that might be a plus or a negative. Like, if you could turn that boat so easily with just the rod tip, it means that if you get a little bit of wind, you may be like all over the place. So you're gonna have to put a power pole on the back, which it has the insert for. This boat, they designed it also to take on a torpedo, to take on many of the fishing accessories that we use nowadays. <laughs> Other thing that it includes is a seat that they took forever to design they model it after racing cars and other stuff. Like they spend a lot of time in R&D and material and stuff like that. And that's why this boat costs a lot of money. 
the question that keeps coming back is it worth it? Uh, can, will you take right now eleven thousand dollars out of your bank account and buy this? Should you do that and not have any of this stuff? Uh, it depends on you a lot. Like if I'm older and I still want to enjoy kayak fishing, I really don't want to be lifting any kayak. So this boat may be worth it for me, even if it costs eleven thousand dollars, because it gets me on the water, it gets me away from that sound. get me away from the sound of civilization and I don't have to kill myself in the process of getting there so at the time I mean it may be worth it for me or if I'm a professional kayak angler and I don't want to deal with the stuff that you get with normal kayaks I want to keep it easy and simple maybe it's also worth the money for me the problem with this boat costing so much money eleven thousand dollars is that it's out of the reach of 99% of the kayak anglers out there like who will get eleven thousand dollars and buy this boat very few people and that's why maybe it costs so much money because they know they're only gonna sell a select number of it and when they develop the concept and everything they bring everything down the pricing they know what they're doing maybe they'll come back with version 2.0 costing half the price so that's what a lot of businesses do even apple they come with a super expensive version one they sell a lot of those and then they get that money reinvest it back and then come with version 2.0 that is half the price now i want to give you some of the specs of this boat to do that we have to do something <laughs> what are you doing dude what are you doing breaking my brand new jet anger kayak breaking it. Good, good good don't break it that's good all right I so this you want to give the specs uh sure thing where do i start so this boat right here that you see here hopefully you see it this thing is 12 feet long and 36 inches wide. On a normal kayak, plastic kayak, that would weigh over 100 pounds. Yet, this boat only weighs 40 pounds. With the seat and everything. Incredible stuff. Now, it is about 18 inches tall. This boat also has a planing hole, which makes it faster. I think they put the torpedo on and I think they almost hit 8 miles an hour. That is pretty fast. I had torpedo on really fast kayaks and I couldn't get it past five something, that may, not even, I didn't get it close to six. So this boat pushing Torquedo at almost eight miles an hour, that is huge. The hole that it has, it makes it super fast. But if you want a Torquedo and you have this kayak, you're looking at how much, Andre? So 11,000 plus $2,350 and you get this boat with a Torquedo on it and you go almost eight miles an hour. Is that worth the money for you? Maybe. Oh yeah, by the way guys, uh, Apex, if you're watching this video and you want to have me review this boat, I'll happily review it and I'll give you my 1,010% honest right opinion. Here? Is the boat right here? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.